Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Calabucas, and once again, we're coming in July from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking to innovation startups of the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll be notified when a new show comes online. If you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts if you like the show. Love to hear from you. All right. Mimetic desire. Mimetic desire, mimetic, mimetic theory is that we all have the same desires because we copy our desires from other people. We copy our desires from other people. And if this is true, if we do copy all of our desires from other people, then that makes a lot of sense about how we act around other people. Is that we don't have any innate desires of our own. We just create these desires by observing other people and looking at other people and saying, oh, I want, they want, I want what they want. I want what that person wants. We integrate these things into ourselves and say, well, this is my desire now. But the only reason why we got this desire is because we saw it from other people, right? We saw what other people wanted and we started wanting the same things as those other people. Even from when we were small children, we said, well, I want, I want a car or I want this or I want that. I want these things because I've seen other people with them and they look happy. So I want to be happy too. In fact, isn't that one of the, one of the uh, cardinal rules of, of sales and marketing is don't sell the product, sell how happy you're going to be after you have the product in your hand, after you spent the money on the product, look how happy these people are. Have you seen an ad that actually sells the product? No, nobody sells the product. Everyone sells the euphoria that you get after you own the product. So as a result, one of the other things, one of the downsides of mimetic theory, one of the downsides of the fact that everybody wants what everybody else has is that that immediately sets up a situation where in the end, at the bottom of the found at the foundation of everything, everyone hates you. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Cal Lucas, what are you talking about? How does, why does everybody hate me? Well, everybody hates you because you have stuff. You have things that they want and you have things that they want that they can't have because you have them. So underlying all of this, underlying all of human civilization is envy. Envy underlies all of human civilization. We want things other people have. And because other people have them, we hate them. We try to do whatever we can to either get the same things they have or tear them down so that they don't have the same things that we have, that we want. What's easier, tear things down or build yourself up? What would you rather do? Be as successful as the people you idolize? Or would you rather they be torn down to the same success level that you're at? That's the thing about human beings. We have this, this envy. And it's one of these things that, I mean, if you look at Buddhism, there's the, the talk is it's, it's all throughout Buddhism, how there should be a middle way, how we shouldn't be envious of each other. But if you think about mimetic theory, and if you think about the society that we're in today and how we have this hyper attenuated mimeticness going on, because seven by 24, we have the feed of what other people are doing, what other people like, what other people are eating, what other people are driving, what other people are doing, what other people are, are traveling to, wherever other people are leave, living, constantly fed into our brains. And we're looking at it and we're going, wow, I wish I could eat that. I wish I could see that. I wish I could do that. I wish I could. Uh... And all these wishes are hyperactivating our senses into, we need that. And you can only get that in two ways. You can either get that by working towards getting that yourself or working towards tearing down <laughs> another person who has it. So the hatred is real. It might be sublimated, it might be under a foundation, but if there's somebody out there who has what you want, probably underneath it all, you hate them. You hate them for having what you don't have and what you want. So in the end, at the bottom of all this, everyone hates you. So how do we get around this? 
I don't think we can unless we can somehow work to alleviate this envy, this mimetic desire, this requirement or this this keeping up with the Joneses thing where we have to have everything that everybody else wants. We need to be unique. We need to be different. We need to stand aside from the crowd. We need to say to ourselves, I don't want what everybody else wants. I want something different. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.